Well, this is a little quick update for you. Now that um, I've been back for a day, everybody's gotten fed again for the first time in three days, and there's some nice colors popping up on some of these guys. Check out the Taiwan Reef back there. His color's starting to come in. I'm very excited for that. Um, he's still quite small. He's only, oh, I'd say maybe two and a half inches. So he's going to be a pretty fish. That Nyeri right there is looking very nice too. Really starting to pop out some colors as you can see. Um, Venustis is still looking nice and yellow. Um, I'm hoping soon the next phase is some blue lips um, so that I can be certain that it's male. It's kind of hard to tell with Venustis at this size. Um, but, you know, this dragon Eureka is doing well. The Otter Point Eureka is doing well. Everybody's doing good. Dolph Lundgren back there, the dolphin, the blue dolphin, Electric Blue Ali. The Red Empress is looking great. Kind of hard to get a good angle here. I still need to get another light for this tank, but you know, it works for now. Um, so, uh, eventually though, eventually. So, um, but everybody's doing really, really well in this tank. And, um, I haven't even done a water change uh, in a week and a half, um, and I do feed pretty heavy, but everything's great. I tested the water today, ammonia zero, and um, nitrates at five parts per million, so I mean, I'm just going to let it rock. That's, sometimes that's the best thing you can do with your tank, is just let it go and let it do its thing as long as it's stable. If it ain't broke, definitely don't try and fix it when it comes to aquariums. Look how nice that little Taiwan reef is starting to get. Let's see if it'll turn. There he goes. Yeah. Well, let's check out the 112. It's getting a little boring over there, though, so but we'll see. So, <clears throat> 112 had some issues. Um, not water issues. The water's fine. Uh, basically the same levels as the uh, 140 cube. The issues that happened here, I, um, well, you see this little albino ice blue is here. Um, originally, I did not move him into this tank, though. I moved the little Obi Umbuno over here. And I, you know, full disclosure, i um, a little disappointed to tell you guys this, and I'm even more disappointed um, that it's a real thing. Um, but I lost my Afro Halo Reef and both of my rusty cichlids, the pair that had started digging. Um, you know, I, I just, I'm kind of surprised that little Obi Umbuna was, <laughs> he's like an inch and a half long, but uh, he's a mean little mother. Um, but everybody is back to normal back in here. Um, you know, I moved that Obi and Buna back to the little 15 gallon cube for now until I can figure it out. Um, maybe I'll try again once um, once I've got some more Mbunas in here because eventually this will be an Mbuna tank. Um, when I get the third tank, uh, the Frontosa will move to there and uh, I'll probably get some more Tanganyika cichlids, if not a couple more Frontosas for that. Um, stay tuned, um, but that's a little bit down the road. Um, you know, any likes and subscribes will definitely help out with that. So we'll see where that goes. But, you know, I kind of left um, some of the more, well, this Obi's doing all right. The Obi here and the um, Redfin Borye or Redfin Hap, um, which he's hiding back here right now, I believe. Yeah, there he is. Um, don't mind the bio. You know, I just kind of let it go sometimes because the bio is actually good for you. No, it's not algae. No, it's not mold. That's actually good beneficial bacteria. It's just growing on the glass. Um, but that's okay, you know. I just kind of got to get at it with um, my mag float here. But, you know, so... As you can see, a little more rock structure, it's a little bit tighter now. Um, again, eventually I'm going to turn this into an all Buna tank. Um, for now, there are some 
peacocks still in here that I'm um, waiting to kind of see what they do before they move. Um, really, I think the um, that little white ob that's not quite colored up and the redfin hap are really the only two fish that are going to move out of this tank uh, over to the 140 cube anytime in the near future. Um, you know, so that's what we have going on here. Um, if you guys would like to know a little bit more about some of the things I do with my tanks, how I keep the water, please like and subscribe and let me know. And I will definitely try and post some videos. Um, maybe I could do a video of water change or talk about water parameters. I mean, whatever you guys would like to hear about, um, just let me know and I will try and make that happen. Um, but for now, um, we're just going to keep on checking on the status and the growth of these guys and I thank everybody that's tuning in to be on the journey um, as these fish grow up in these two tanks with me and then I just finalized the deal to get my last two fish I plan on putting over here for now um, and that's gonna be an F1 star sapphire pheno hat and an OB Lawanda and I think that after I get those two fish in this tank, I'm just kind of going to let it go um, and see how everybody grows and gets along. I'm really starting to think that this fish right here is a female Neary cichlid. So maybe, maybe, maybe if it turns out that it is and we run into problems with the male Neary over here, um, I might set up like a... 40 gallon breeder or 55 gallon maybe a 60 just to kind of keep them in as their own thing because I know they can get quite aggressive um, if they start to spawn I know this strawberry peacock down here is a female I'm gonna leave her in here for now and just kind of see uh, how things go and if I need to move her eventually I will um, hundred thousand percent a female though um, she started practice clutching um, three times basically in the last month I've caught her holding inert eggs and then she spit them after about three to five days um, so and I don't think that any of these fish in here are really mature enough to um, spawn right now um, the only ones that could potentially be close would be this electric blue Ali right here and then maybe the male Nyeri that's in here. Um, I don't think this Eureka is quite there yet. Maybe. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have going on right now. So check back in later and we'll keep monitoring this. And thank you everybody for joining us.